Lola, it is such a pleasure for me to be able to talk with you today. I can't tell you, when I saw Dating Amber, uh, probably about two months ago, it debuted here at the um, Inside Out Festival in Toronto. And I saw it and I just fell in love with this movie. And I was just telling, you know, Angie, our publicist, who's amazing, you've got to get me an interview with Finn and you've got to get me an interview with Lola. You guys are so terrific in this. So congratulations on such a wonderful film and wonderful performance. Um, I wanted to ask you, first of all, uh, when you first got the script, what was it about the material? And, and, you know, you must have immediately fallen in love with Amber, I would think. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Um, getting the script for the first time, me and Fee often say to each other that, you know, sometimes a script lands on your lap and you're like, oh, I want to do this. And this script sort of landed on our laps and we were like, oh, we have to do this. <laughs> we have to do it. And um, I just had I just had never read or, or seen anything like it. It was, you know, the two leads being a, a gay man and a gay woman and the focus not being on romantic love, but platonic love. Yeah. And the balance between the comedy and the tragedy and and Amber and her sparky loud self. Yeah, she is. How much did you find that you even related to her just in terms of her? She's feisty, she's headstrong, but she's also, you know, she's got, there's stuff going on inside that she's got to keep to herself and, and can't let it come out until, you know, maybe a little bit later in the film. But what, what did you find that, how, that you related to her? I think what's great about it is even though it's all so specific like it's it's all so very universal as well yeah. you know the idea of trying to fit in and trying to figure out who you are and where you need to go and who you need to be around in order to be yourself is something that I think is so completely universal mm -hmm. and what's great about this film is that even though it's very specific and you know it's very much like about sexuality and stuff like that is that it's also universal in that anybody can relate to the the idea of trying to fit in or absolutely something or just make it through the last year of school yeah oh absolutely did you find yourself thinking you know as you're playing amber um you know just make you think about your own personality your own life you know did did it change you in any way yeah, um, I've, I've spoken at, at length, especially during the UK and, and Irish release, uh, about how playing Amber helped me come to terms with my own sexuality. Um, playing Amber was a really, really personally transformative experience. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that I would be where I am today or, or who I am, express myself the way that I do and, and, and you know, living truthfully if it, if it wasn't for playing Amber. That's wonderful to hear, you know, uh, Lola, because look, you know, you make movies or TV shows or whatever you do and it's an art and you love it and it's your job and I get that and all that. But at the end of the day, you want people to take something away from it. And especially to hear that an actor has taken a role and really learned from it. I think that that's so important. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely felt important for me. Yeah, yeah, that's that's amazing. Your chemistry with Finn, as you call him, Fee, uh, I know you guys, be you hit it off, obviously, because you became best, best friends. When I spoke to him uh, last month, you know, you guys spent lockdown together. Uh, yeah. it, was it an instant chemistry? Tell me about, you know, the first time you guys met each other and now you knew you were going to be such close friends. I mean, it was, it was definitely instant. I think one of the first things I might have said to him was like, I asked him, did he want a cough drop? I was like, do you want a wee cough drop? Because <laughs> <laughs> I had like a wee tickly throat and I was like, does anybody want one? Um, and, and we hit it off straight away. Like, I think what's funny is we look back on it now and we both thought the other person was so cool. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Neither of us are cool. <laughs> oh, come on, you're pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> and... Yeah, I mean, I think we knew immediately that if we were going to get the job, it would be with each other. Yeah. And, and when we eventually did get the job, um, we had the luxury of having a lot of rehearsals, which you don't typically get uh, in independent film. And it just meant that me and Fionn had excuses to hang out. And then, you know, we started hanging out more and more outside of rehearsals. And, you know, before we even stepped on set, we were the best friends. That's amazing, you know, because that doesn't happen all the time with, as you know, you've made a lot of things. And um, 
that that's wonderful because yeah like i said he's just fantastic had you seen normal people before you met him no normal people had he shot normal people we were shooting normal people and date number at the same time oh okay okay done finished on date number and then did normal people yeah, which I love that series. So did the two of you kind of sit down and watch it together? It's so funny to see him in that role and then this yeah. role, you know? Yeah, well, because we were shooting together, we got to be quite close pals with the normal people um, cast. So like India and Daisy and stuff like that. And so yeah. we were, it was really lovely because we both shot in, in the summer in Dublin. So, you know, we would finish work and get to go out and have a pint in the sun. And it was it was all really lovely. That's amazing. Oh, I love that. You know, I... I, I I was going to ask you this after, but I'm going to, because you mentioned shooting in Dublin, you know, I've been, I've been speaking to a lot of Irish actors lately, and obviously, personally, they're my favorite people to talk to. I just love talking to you. You're also freaking talented, and I love the country <laughs> so, so much. I, like I said, I can't wait to get back there. But what I'm finding Sorry, is there's, pause there. that's okay. Okay. Can you hear me now? You're okay. Um, are we good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as I said, I, I just love it yeah. there. And what are, you know, there's so many great productions, great things coming out of Ireland. Are you finding there's more opportunity there instead of having to maybe, you know, go stateside or something? Yeah, like I'm, I'm only home bird, um, so it's nice to be able to, to be close to family and, and pals. But I think there is like a, it's, it's sort of like a really lovely Irish renaissance at the minute. And it's, yeah. it's not just in film and TV, you know. We've got amazing writers like Sally Rooney and, and Nisha Dolan and stuff coming out. Yeah. And it really feels like all eyes are on Ireland at the minute, which is which is amazing. And and more than anything, you know, just seeing a bunch of people that, you know, are my friends and, and that I love and who I think are so talented and, and being able to watch their work go out into the world is just like the best privilege. Yeah, I'm sure. It's a lovely. I just love it so much. Um, the film said in, you know, 1995, what I found amazing when I did a little bit of research was that homosexuality in Ireland was illegal until 1993. Did that, like, that's, wow. To me, that's crazy. Yeah, huh? it is crazy, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, uh, we were on the set of Date Number the day uh, I was, we were shooting something in the school and I checked my phone in between setups and that day, and I, I just saw it, that um, same-sex marriage had passed in the north where I'm from. Right. And we were shooting a film that was set 25 years previous. Yeah. And it was bittersweet because of course I was absolutely delighted. But at the same time, I was like 25 years Right. And still not really much of a difference. Yeah. And I like think that there's been this big leap. Yeah, it's it's insane to me, like honestly. But you know, but did you have fun shooting that time period, the clothes and everything? And did you get to keep anything? You had some cute outfits. <laughs> yeah, I kept I kept the ugly bridesmaids dress. Oh, that's so funny, that. really. <laughs> oh, the second that I saw that horrible, horrible dress, I fell in love. I knew I needed it. And I've said to Joan, our amazing costume designer, who let me keep it, that, you know, when we have a physical sort of event for date number at some point, I'll get it out. Oh, that's <laughs> hilarious. Yeah, that that was a great dress, I have to say. I agree with you. I would have probably kept that too, for sure. Uh, sure. So I know that you've got so much going on. And and like I said, you're it's people are really going to get to know you. Are, are you prepared for this? Or there, how, how does one prepare to become for fame? Or, you know, or, or is it different because you live in Europe, you know what I mean? Like, it's, so you're, is it different for you? And I don't know about fame, like I'm, 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 I'd be delighted that anybody just wants to talk about the stuff that I'm doing. Um, yeah. I like, especially just getting to talk about how great Fiona and Dave are, I'll chat anybody's ear off, <laughs> you know? I'm just delighted to be working and, yeah. you know, it doesn't go over my head at the moment that, you know, the world's in a bit of disarray and that I have the privilege to continue to work. Yeah. And I'm I'm just really, really grateful for it. Yeah. So that's all I'm thinking about at the minute. <laughs> oh, good. No, good for you. Tell me a little bit uh, before you've got a, you've got a, um, another movie coming up soon. Well, hopefully we'll get to see it soon. Wolf. And to me, that sounds so, uh, and Finn is in that as well. Yeah. And the great George McKay, who is such a great actor. I mean, I, I got to speak to him for 1917. That guy should have won an Oscar as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, he was so good in that. Tell me a little bit about Wolf. That sounds really great. 
Yeah, um, first of all, I think that me and Fionn were just delighted and gobsmacked that we'd managed to get away with convincing two productions to let us work together. And so we're hoping that maybe we can go for a third and just, you know, keep going with this. Yeah. Um, and, and it was great. I mean, it was it was the first thing that, that we both shot um, after the world reopened a little bit. And uh, we, we shot it in, in Dublin and we had a ball and, you know, Lily Rose and, and George are just incredible in it. And it's unlike anything I've ever done before. So wow. I'm really excited. Just can you tell me the premise of it at least or what, what, what we yeah, can expect? Yeah, um, about a boy who believes that he's a wolf. Oh. Um, he goes to this sort of clinic that um, cures these children who believe that they're animals. Interesting. Wow, that sounds really cool. Okay, good. I'm, I'm gonna, I can't wait for that. That looks really great. Well, look, you know, like I say, it's, it was so good, this film, Dating Amber. I really do hope everybody sees it. I've been plugging it like crazy for the last month and a half. So I am so happy that you took the time today to speak with me about it. And for me, it's just such a, a lovely privilege to have the opportunity to talk to you, Lola. I really, really appreciate your time. Oh, thank you so much, pal. The pleasure's all mine. It was so uh, nice. Listen, thank and the you. next time I come to Dublin, I'm going to hook, hook up with you and we'll have a pint or something. I would love Absolutely. you, me, and Finn. We really need yeah. to, to hang out. Uh, that's all. And I'll bring, uh, maybe I'll bring my son if he's nice. You know, we'll yeah, see. we can all have a Guinness somewhere. It'll be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so great. Have, have a great time with the rest thank of your you day. So much, and thank pal. you so much for your time. Okay, thank bye. You. Bye, Lola. <laughs>